Hi everyone, what is up and welcome to the Theatre Lounge. I hope everyone is okay. Welcome back to everyone who's been here before and a massive welcome to everyone who is here for the first time. Here at the Theatre Lounge I talk about everything to do with theatre because I love this industry so much but I also give my top tips when it comes to auditions, colleges and everything else that comes with it. I upload videos twice a week, every Tuesday and every Friday, so if you haven't yet, make sure that you hit that subscribe button to keep updated with all my theatre content coming to you. So a few days ago, I put a poll up on my Instagram where I asked you guys what you want to see next and you voted for Disney musicals. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. So if you want to get involved and let me know what videos you want to see next, just follow me on my Instagram account. I will link it all down below so you can have your votes as well. So, as I said, I'm going to be talking about Disney musicals, but today I'll be talking about on-stage Disney musicals, my top five on-stage Disney musicals. Now, I haven't seen them all live, I haven't, but I love these soundtracks, I love them a lot, and from the clips I've seen online, they look amazing. I love every Disney movie, to be honest. I'm a Disney fan, I'm a massive Disney fan. But yeah, there we go, I'll be talking about my favourite five Disney on-stage musicals, also, just know that this is not in any particular order, this is just my favourite five. So, as I said, I love all Disney movies, but there's a couple of musicals that I love a bit more. So the first one has to be Tarzan. I think Tarzan is such a great movie, such a great story, but I think it translates well on stage as well, like the story makes so much sense when it's live on stage. This musical is written by Phil Collins and it opened on Broadway for the first time in 2006. It ran for about a year, a year and a half on Broadway, but it had massive success worldwide. This musical did really well in Germany specifically, where it still has some revivals happening every couple of years, and that is really good for the musical to keep it alive. It obviously follows the story of how Tarzan and Jane meet and they fall in love and they're totally different and all of that. You get the story, you know Tarzan, and that's what it's about. Fun fact about this musical, this is the only Disney musical that didn't have a tryout off Broadway first, it just went on straight to Broadway and was a success. There's quite a lot of good songs from this show, so I will link a playlist down below of some of the songs from these musicals that I'm going to mention, so you can just have a listen to them as well. So let's move on to the next one. This one, I don't think it gets the love it deserves. I've made a full video about underrated musicals, and I really wanted to include this one, but I thought if I'll do a Disney musical video, I would probably include it in there. So it happened quicker than I thought. So here we go. Let's talk about Finding Nemo the Musical. This live puppet musical show opened in 2006 at Disney's Animal Kingdom and was written by Robert Lopez and Kristen Anderson Lopez. They also wrote the music for Frozen and Frozen 2, so you can tell that it's going to be good. So this musical actually replaced Tarzan and Disney, not the Broadway version of Tarzan, another version of the musical. Yeah, so that closed and in that theatre then became Finding Nemo. It's a lovely story, I think it's captured really well. It's a, quite a short musical, it's 40 minutes long and 32 minutes of them is music. But the puppetry is amazing, the costumes are incredible, the colours, everything was so good. I actually watched this in 2009 and as a kid I was impressed, I was blown away. I was like, oh my god, I never thought I would see Nemo on stage. But I did, and I think for that, all the kids that go to Disney and watch this musical, like, have such a nice experience with it. The music is so well written, like, the story follows through so brilliantly and falls into place so nicely as well. And the show is performed five to six times every single day in Disney. So the actors in the show have a really tough job, I think it's quite hard, but I'm pretty sure that it's so rewarding. In 2009, Finding Nemo actually won the Best Live Show from the Themed Entertainment Association Awards. That is quite a big deal in this industry as well, so that is really good. But also, when the writers were approached to write this musical, they thought of it as a Broadway production, because this story is a story that most people, I would say, everyone love. So it's quite a special story for especially kids who are going to watch this show. And also the writers said themselves that they loved this movie, so it was a big deal for them to create a musical about it. And my fun fact about the show is that this is the only Disney movie that became a musical that never had songs with it. So they added a lot of songs into it to make it into a musical. Now for a bit of a darker musical, based on the 1800s Victor Hugo novel and the 1996 Disney movie, this one is The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I personally believe that if I didn't know that The Hunchback of Notre Dame was Disney, I could have easily believed that it was just any other musical, like any other normal story, not Disney, if you know what I mean. 
There is a kind of fairy tale to it, but it's not in your face as much. This show is also big in Germany. It actually originated in Berlin in 1999 and had a run of three years, which makes it one of Berlin's longest running musicals ever. It has since then been revised and then performed in California and then revised yet again and then performed in New Jersey. As we talked about for Tarzan, this musical still has quite a lot of revivals in Germany and is still quite big in the country. Now when we're talking about Disney musicals, one composer that definitely comes to mind is Alan Menken and actually Alan Menken and Stephen Schwartz wrote this musical together. Also, fun fact about The Hunchback of Notre Dame, this musical has never actually been on Broadway. It's performed in the US, it's performed in Sweden, it's performed in Germany, but it never actually hit Broadway yet. Let's make that happen. Right, let's move on to the next one. And my next top five Disney musical has to be Frozen. I actually haven't seen this one live yet as well, but the soundtrack is absolutely phenomenal. The story isn't captured so well, but you can tell that on stage it's kind of different and there's quite a lot of different things to it but it's still true to itself, like the story still makes sense as the Frozen we know. This show, just like Finding Nemo, was also written by Robert Lopez and Kristen Anderson Lopez, which makes sense as they wrote the music for the Frozen and the Frozen 2 movies, then they carried on and did the Frozen musical. Although this musical premiered in 2017 in Denver and then hit Broadway in 2018, it was actually in works for quite a long time. It's been rumored that the show actually started being written way before it hit Broadway, Yes, there's some speculations that this musical was in the works before the first ever Frozen movie was even premiered. So that makes it about four years in production before it's actually opened for the first time, so that explains why this show is actually such a great show. It should be opening in several other places. It should be opening in Australia, in Germany, and also should be hitting the West End later on this year. It should be performing at the Jury Lane Theatre, and I'm so excited because the last show I saw there was 42nd Street and I'm pretty sure that this Frozen is going to be totally different, the opposite of what I saw there and I'm going to be so excited to actually go and watch it. If I manage to get tickets. Also, side note, can we just say that Samantha Box is going to be Elsa and I am so excited for that because I love her to bits. I think she's an incredible actress and I can't wait to see her in it. But every rose has its thorn and unfortunately it's been announced that Frozen will not reopen on Broadway after this global pandemic is over which is very sad for the show. But don't you worry because there's a US tour so this musical is still going to be live around the country as well. There are a couple of minor changes to this musical from the movie that we know and that makes it really interesting because we see deeper characters, the story is deeper, you get to know more about Elsa and Anna and I think that is really good. There's new songs like Monster which everyone knows and it's such a great song. There's live puppetry with Olaf and there's also an entire scene with Oaken. Woohoo! Big summer blowout! But one thing that I'm really looking forward to actually see is that this musical has a narrator and I think that is going to make this story like pop out so much more that someone is reading the story and making it feel more like it is a fairy tale so that the Disney element of it is still so alive. I'm really, really excited to actually watch this and I can't wait. And don't worry because probably as soon as I watch it, a video will be up on here about it and I literally cannot wait. But right, let's move on to my fifth musical in this top five list and that has to be Newsies. This one is also written by Anna Menken, by instead of Stephen Schwartz, he's written this with Jack Feldman. It's obviously based on the Disney movie Newsies, but in return that was inspired by the real live Newsboy strike in 1899 in New York City. It was premiered on Broadway in 2012 and had just over 1,000 performances, but then it also went on tour. It was an incredible cast in this show as well, so make sure that you listen to the soundtrack, which I will include in my playlist below as well. So it, it's beautiful, like the story is so well written, so well translated onto the stage, and I think that is incredible. You can also watch this entire musical on Disney Plus at the moment, so if you've got that, make sure that you give it a watch, because it is really worth it. My fun fact about this show is that it actually cost about $5 million to stage this production, but they made all the money back within seven months of opening, making it the quickest Disney Broadway musical to ever make a profit. And I'm so glad that they added extra songs to the musical, because my favorite song is actually Letter from the Refuge, which Crutchy sings, and I think it's such a beautiful song, such a great song for Crutchy, like it describes him so much, it's beautiful, and yeah, 
I love it. But there we go, those are my top five Disney on stage musicals. But there are a couple more musicals that I love and I can't not mention, and these are The Little Mermaid and obviously Aladdin. I think they're both brilliant shows from the clips I've seen online and everything, they are incredible. I've actually seen Aladdin live as well, which I really enjoyed. But yeah, there we go. Also, there's rumours that more Disney musicals are being made at the moment, some of which include Hercules and also Descendants, which I think will be absolutely incredible. So I can't wait for these to come out and actually like review them and everything. Also, I've read online that there's a Camp Prop the Musical. I know there's a high school musical on stage musical, but I've never heard of this Camp Rock before in my life and I've just figured it out, but I can't find anything about it. So if you know anything about Camp Rock the musical, please let me know in the comments below because that was one of my favourite movies when I was growing up. But there we go, that is my top five Disney on stage musicals. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what your favourite ones are. And make sure that you hit the thumbs up button to give a like to this video and also subscribe and hit that little notification bell next to it as well to get notified whenever I upload my theatre videos. Also, make sure that you follow me on my social media to get your daily dose of musical theatre. Thank you all so much for joining. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you want to see next below. But I will see you all on Friday. Bye, guys. <laughs>